1983 Ford XR4i. And before we get started, this one is easily one of the best ones we've had in. One of the best ones I've seen in a long, long time. It's come from a small collection in County Durham. All of his cars are on the button, meticulous, really well stored, really well cared for. He's got a lovely attention to detail. As you can see, this one's finished in white. Now it obviously is on the wrong wheels, but before anyone starts, the real ones are in the boot. Also, and, we, and we do have a set of five of those. So we've got five of those with one in the boot, obviously, and five of the pepper pots with five full ones in the boot. We're gonna start by looking at the bodywork. If we look down this driver's side, you can see all the way down there, it's lovely and straight. That body line that goes all the way along is nice and sharp all the way down. All the trim and the body kit panels, they all fit lovely quite often with these. They'll sort of peel out at one point or they'll have big gaps or anything like that. But as you can see, that fits lovely. Beats the, the bumper nice and tidy. Although they're not the correct wheels for the car, I personally really like them, but they do all have the center caps. They are all in immaculate condition. Lovely period correct. Uh, dust cover on there. I think when I was about 12, 13, I definitely would have nicked that. Tire wise, we've got matching what look like to be nearly brand new tire proxies all around, but we'll check as we go around. If we have a look in this arch, you can see just how clean it is in there. It's really, really good. We can get underneath and have a look that way, I think. There you can see just how tidy that is under there. The actual arch plastics itself all the way around. Lovely and clean. No sign of any corrosion peeking around from the outside or anything like that. Really, really good. The rest of this driver's wing is all lovely. Indicator is not full of water or faded. The red trim that sits in here is good all the way down. Door shuts are nice and even all the way down as well. And then where this sort of arch section meets the actual side skirt that sits properly, you can see going along there nice and clean. The car's nice and tidy underneath. To do with maybe a little bit of a wipe down. As you can see, lovely and clean. It's not caked in under seal or anything like that. Driver's door. That's all lovely and straight. There's no dings or dents or anything on it. It's not been opened on anything. The door edges, really good all the way down. All the windows, lovely and clear. All the right stamps on them. We do have the right, or the, the decals on the back. Quarter window here, the XR4i on the stripes. Wing mirror, that's all nice and tidy. Now all the plastics are lovely. They're not covered in back to black and they're not dried out. They're not cracked, not faded. They're exactly as you'd want. Same goes for the handle, all this trim. The lip along here. Normally that's all sort of bubbled up by now, but that's really good. From here, we can have a good look at the A-pillar. It's lovely and tidy. And the roof. You can see, lovely and straight. There's not a ripple or a dent in it anywhere. This gutter, that's nice and tidy all the way along. It's not a speck of corrosion or anything like that coming through, as you can see. Around the sunroof. That's lovely all the way around. Coming down this rear quarter. Same story as the front, really. Really lovely and tidy. Nice and clean all the way around there. Another good wheel, another good Toyo proxy. And then there's just as clean as the front, as you can see. Around the filler cap's nice. It's all good on that rear half of the bumper, or the lower half of the bumper, sorry. Round onto the corner, that's good on both sides. Red trim sits nice and straight. It's not got any lumps or bumps in it. Nice, clean, standard reg plates. Correct stickers on, this, on the back, obviously Sierra XR4i so on that side. Forward on this one, if we're going to be really picky, very top of the badge has gone slightly milky. That's being, uh, it's about as picky as it could possibly be without getting imprisoned, I think. Nice and clean on that tailgate. We'll have a look underneath. Again, same story. Really good under there. As you can see, the tank and the strap, lovely and clean. Wheel well, and the exhaust, all really good. Spoiler, that's all nice and tidy as well. There's nothing to note there on both parts of the spoiler. Obviously, people tend to open the boot by it. Doesn't do it any good. Heated rear screen around there is all nice and clean. It does make for a boring video. It's not pointing anything out, but it does make for a really, really good car. If you look up this passenger side again, body line's lovely and sharp all the way down there. There's no ripples. It's not full of filler. Lower half of the bumper from that side is good. In here, same story, lovely and clean all the way around. Another immaculate wheel. There's not a mark on any of the wheels. Uh, and another good tire proxy. Lovely and tidy coming down here. There's not really any scratches or anything to point out. Have a look at this. Sill cover and everything from here. 
exactly the same as the other side. Got a very small, in fact, that's a speck of dirt that'll wipe off, ignore that. Really, really good, all the way down. Nice clean wing mirror on this side as well. All the plastics, same as the other side, lovely and tidy. Same on the scuttle and up this A pillar. Have a look at the gutter from this side. Again, really, really good. And around the sunroof on this side as well. Nothing taught the report there. It's not even any stone chips on the leading edge. It's really, really good. And then on this front passenger quarter, or wing, sorry. Again, we've missed a little bit with the cloth where it wants to wipe down from the trailer. But other than that, really, really nice and tidy. Final matching wheel, Toyo Proxy. All got the matching centre caps as well, which is lovely. Nothing uglier than a wheel like that with a missing centre cap. Right at the front, all the lights, headlight indicator, side lights, all nice and clean and bright. No cracks or any sign of any moisture in those. And then the lower half, as you can see, really good all the way along. Do with a little bit of a wipe down right under there, but other than that, lovely and tidy. Now this badge doesn't have any milkiness on it, they are extra bonus points for picking the one out of the back. And then the bonnet, as you can see, no ripples, no dents. See if there's any stone chips at all. I don't think there's a single one. Oh, you've got one tiny, tiny stone chip on the lip there. So there you have it, the body work wise, really, really good, really, really tidy. Moving on to the interior. Again, nice standard interior, it's not been messed with. All the door edges and bottoms are really good. The shuts are lovely and clean. And obviously importantly under here, it's nice and tidy as well. Driver's seat is fantastic. There's no dirt at all on there. There's no staining. The bolsters are lovely and tidy on both sides. You've got a tiny little bit of a crease in this one, but to be fair, I've seen now on brand new seats that look exactly the same. It's had these mats in for quite a long time because the carpet's set underneath lovely and clean. Along the top of the dash is all good. Only aftermarket thing on this car that I'm aware of, obviously apart from wheels, but we do have the original one, so we're not going to count that, is it has this um, audio system installed here. Um, so it's designed to be stealth. You can't really see it. You can remove this panel and get rid of it if you want. It is fitted into the standard Ford head unit. So you turn it on by the Ford head unit, but you do all of your controlling through this unit. It allows you to connect via Bluetooth, but it uses all the stock setup. So there's no nasty stuff in the boot. There's no rat's nest of wiring. Um, we've had a couple of cars with these in. They work really, really well. Good way of getting some tunes on without ruining the originality of your car. Mileage wise, this one's showing 28,000, let's see if we can get it around, 28,149. Um, now I know it was off the road for quite some time. Uh, it was sort of refreshed and put back on the road in 2019. We don't have enough paperwork to back that mileage up. So I would suggest come and have a look at the car um, or we can do video calls or whatever you want. Have a good look at it, decide what you think um, and make your own inquiries from there. 50-50. I, 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 it is a very, very clean car. It's entirely possible it's been over and it's on 128. Or again, it is possible that it's on 28. But like I say, we don't have enough paperwork to back that up. Moving on the passenger side, lovely clean door card there. Nice tidy door shut all the way around. Again, passenger seat, lovely and tidy. The bolsters are nice and firm. It even comes with one little hole but it is an 80s Ford, so it's got to have at least one little cigarette burn. Doesn't smell of cigarettes in here, doesn't smell of dogs, it's no sign of any moisture or anything like that. Headlining's lovely and clean. Some visors are all great. But like I say, it's got that one little mark just there. Um, a good upholsterer should be able to fill that in uh, to about 95%. There might even be some out there that can get it to 100, but you can definitely make it look a lot better. I'll totally skip the boots, so we'll go back to that. So. Original parcel shelf in there, nice and tidy. Like I say, it's not been drilled for any speakers or anything like that. So we've got five pepper pots, as you can see. So they can go back on the car. We do have another spare under here, which is the one that matches the rest of the car. But you can see in, on the back panel and everything in here, bit of dust in here, one's a little bit of a clean, um, but the actual panel and everything, lovely and tidy. All this one's a good wash out. Guessing if it's had those wheels stored in it and they're not pulling the carpet out and cleaning that anytime soon. Round under the bonnet. Pull the lever as we go around. Oh, 
you have to excuse the dodgy camera work while we get this pinned up. There you go. They're getting in here really, really good. Lovely and clean all the way along there. No sign of any corrosion. No sign of any moisture. Strut tops are like brand new, as are in the inner wings and down there. That's the same on both sides, as you can see. Really, really good. A little bit of dust there, we'll ignore that. And then behind the panel, that's all lovely and tidy, as you can see. The engine is gorgeous. I would say somebody's had that out and gone through it by the looks of things. From what I understand, I know the engine's had a rebuild, but it looks like they've painted it at the same time as well. Um, so yeah, that's really, really good. Lovely and shiny. No sign of any fluids or anything dropping down there, as you can see. Really, really good. And we'll start it up and you can definitely attest to that engine rebuild being a proper job because it's fantastic, the engine on this one. I've plenty of XR4Is and none of them start like that. Really lovely and smooth. We'll give it a little rev. I'm not going to bounce it off a limit because it is cold. And apart from a light for a handbrake, as you can see, we'll take off. No warning lights, nothing at all to worry about in there. Nothing nasty flying out of that exhaust. Makes a really good sound. I did briefly drive it down the road when we pulled it off the trailer. It does drive really, really well. The gearbox is nice and tight. It's not wandering. It pulls really, really well. So there you have it, 1983 XR4i. If you've got any more questions, please get in touch. Check the description. We'll detail everything we know about the car. Um, if you can't get to have a look at the car, give us a shout. We can do video calls or we can send you extra photos or videos or whatever you might need. But again, we are open seven days a week for, for viewings by appointment. Just give us a shout. We'll get you booked in. Like I say, any questions at all, please just let us know. Thank you.